to Michigan. Let's fucking go to Michigan. Michigan. Good morning from Michigan. So I just woke up. My first morning waking up here. And I woke up to it snowing. <laughs> My heart is aching of joy, of pure fucking joy. Look at this. This is my first snow of this winter because New York has not gotten any snow. So I am thrilled with joy. My heart is utterly full. I guess growing up in Michigan because our winters are so intense, like snow like just comes with it. Um, but like in New York we haven't had any snow so far. So I was like, okay, when's the first snowfall? Um, it's weird, I've never had to wait till December 18th to have my first snowfall. Um, it's beautiful though. It's it's a beautiful one. So we're gonna make our bed. I'm gonna make my bed. And then I'm gonna go enjoy a cup of tea and some water with my family around the Christmas tree. And we're gonna observe the first snow. Happy Christmas! My parents literally told me yesterday, we're not gonna get any snow while you're here. Bitch, they knew I was coming. The weather knew I was coming and needed some snow. They knew. that rhythm like any workout is hard at first holy shit that's bright <sighs> any workout is hard in the beginning but once you just like hit past certain point you're like let's go let's go it doesn't matter if it's a home workout at the gym at least for me it just takes that mental strength to get to a certain point in the workout and then you're like all right we're warmed up let's go Today's my third day off of pre-workout, so workouts have been harder, a little bit more difficult to like get into, but they feel so much better and I'm enjoying them more. It makes me feel stronger and more like myself to be able to be like, I can work out this hard on my own strength and ability rather than relying on pre-workout. <sighs> Let's go make a protein smoothie and go get some Lebanese cuisine with my dad. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a great day in good old Michigan. <laughs> this is what happens when you come home to Michigan. You are put on shoveling duty. Oops.
how's it going? I think it's like close to 11 on a Saturday. I'm drinking ginger and chamomile tea. And I'm gonna go to bed after I do some reading. <laughs> We've got it going the fuck on. <laughs> Real exciting. You know, I used to be that person that was like every Friday night, every Saturday night, what the fuck is going on? What's the plan? What bar are we going to? Who's got the alcohol? Who, what, what's going on? Whose house are we at tonight? You know, um, I never thought I would get to this point in my life, especially at 23. And you know, I'm sure it'll go up and down. This could be just a specific point in my life. But at this moment in life, I want literally nothing to do with alcohol. I just want, or partying, I just want to read my book and drink my tea and hang out with my family. This year's been a lot. Um, a fucking emotional one. I moved to New York in March of 2020. February 28th was my move-in day. And I just remember being like, New York or nowhere, I'm going to be living in New York forever. Um, it's my home and I'm meant for it. Um, there's a lot of truth in that, but also not completely correct. Um, that's okay. I haven't even made it a full year living in New York. And I'm already thinking about not living there next year when my lease is up in March of 2022. About a month ago, I went through a heartbreak. It was nothing like major, but it definitely was my first heartbreak in a minute, <laughs> in a fucking minute. And after it happened, I realized that I gave so much of myself. Just like overextended myself so fucking much for this person. As well as so many other people in my life. Oh, so after this little breakup heartbreak, I kind of re had this realization of, holy shit, I'm giving way too much of myself. And all I wanted to do was just like shut up and sit. I'm a very talkative and extroverted person, but in this, like, after this heartbreak, I just was like, I just want to be in silence and sit, like, literally just like this. And I haven't really gotten out of that stage. Pretty sure I've realized that I have nothing else to give of myself to other people if you're not reciprocating it. I fully will give you what I can Bothering that my energy is for myself and for the people I love and who are reciprocating it back. And that has been life changing. It makes me look at everything differently. It makes me look at all of my relationships differently. And it's quite a beautiful thing. But with that, I think I'm on this like whole new life trajectory of like what I actually want. Um, I'm on Christmas break at my parents to spend the holidays and I felt like as soon as I got off the plane like a sense of just like like just release of stress like my jaw loosened just my anxiety kind of diminished and it feels good <laughs> And it's really making me question if I want to go back to New York and live that wild, crazy, exhausted lifestyle. Or if I just want to move to Ireland, live on a farm and be at peace. I it feels like I'm leading somewhere else right now. But I wouldn't have been able to make this decision. I it feels like I'm making the decision right now. I don't really know, but... Follow your intuition, kids. It's always right. 
yeah, I just think this year in New York is really has really built me up for something bigger. And I'm excited to see where that is going to take me next. But I'll be back. <coughs> I got a tickle. Kind of like, oh wait, has been lifted off my shoulder to be able to just say like, I don't have to stay in New York for the rest of my life. Sometimes I think that we tend to make promises or say things and if we don't follow through, we'll just disappoint ourselves when instead we should really look at it as a change, as maybe this is something in our head telling us that something needs to change and that we need to embrace the change rather than be upset that we're not going to stay in New York every year for the rest of your life. You're going to expect to go one way, but you're going to go the other. And that's, like, even more beautiful than what you had planned. <sighs> I think a lot of good things are coming. A lot of good things are coming. 